Hello kids, if you are sick and tired of learning mathematics subject, do not be worried because teacher JC will help you with your problem. In today's video, I will be teaching you on how to convert customary units of weight. Are you excited? Let's start! But before that, I prepared five problems as a sort of review about customary units of length. I discussed this topic in my previous video and if you haven't seen that video, you will find the link in the description box below. Let's start. Here, on the right side, you will see the customary units of length as our guide in answering the five problems. Let's answer number one. 10 feet equals how many inches? What are we going to do? 10 times 12. And what's the answer? 1,200. Next, 9 feet equals how many in yards? So 9 divided by... 3 and the answer is 3. Next, 8 yards equals how many in feet? What are we going to do? 8 times 3 and the answer is 24. So 8 yards equals 24 feet. And for number 4, 2 yards equals how many in inches? So 2 times 36, the answer is 72. 2 yards equals 72 inches. And for our last number, number 5, 4 miles equals how many in yards? What are we going to do? 4 times 1,760. And the answer is 7,040. Therefore, 4 miles equals 7,040 yards. Is it clear? I will repeat, if you haven't seen that video about customary units of length, you will find the link in the description box below. And for today's lesson, these are the customary units of weight that you need to familiarize. We have 1 pound equals 16 ounces, 1 ton equals 2,000 pounds. And always remember, when you convert measurements to convert Larger unit to smaller unit, you will do the multiplication. And when you convert smaller unit to larger unit, you will do the division. And how to identify if it is larger unit or smaller unit? Eyes on here. First column or customary units of weight that can be found on the left side considered as larger unit compared to its pair because all customary units of weight that can be found on the right side on the second column considered as smaller unit. Do I make myself clear? Let's continue. On the top, you will see the customary units of weight for us to be guided in doing the conversion. Let's answer our first problem. 3 pounds equals how many in ounces? Pound to ounces. Left to right. Larger unit to smaller unit. You will do the multiplication. 3 times 16. The answer is 48. 3 pounds equals 48 ounces. Next. 3 tons equals how many in pounds? Ton to pounds. Left to right. 
larger unit to smaller unit. You will do the multiplication. 3 times 2,000. And the answer is 6,000. 3 times equals 6,000 pounds. And for our next problem, 10 pounds equals how many in ounces? Pound to ounces. Left to right. Larger unit to smaller unit. You will do the multiplication. 10 times 16, the answer is 160. 10 pounds equals 160 ounces. Next problem. 60 per ounces equals how many in pounds? Ounces to pound. Right to left. Smaller unit to larger unit. You will do the division. 64 divided by 16 and the answer is 4. 64 ounces equals 4 pounds. Next problem. 8,000 pounds equals how many in tons? Pounds to ton. Right to left. Smaller unit to larger unit. You will do the division. 8,000 divided by 2,000. And the answer is 4. 8,000 pounds equals 4 tons. And for our last problem, 80 ounces equals how many in pounds? Ounces to pound. Right to left. Smaller unit to larger unit. And we will use Division, 80 divided by 16, the answer is 5. 80 ounces equals 5 pounds. For today's activity, I will be encouraging you to have your own calculator, pen and the paper, in answering these problems. Let's start. On the top, you will see the customary units of weight for us to be guided or for you to be guided in completing the conversion table. Let's begin with the first column. 96 ounces equals how many in pounds? If your answer is 6, you are correct. Second column, 33 pounds equals how many in ounces? If your answer is 528, you are absolutely correct. Third column, 864 ounces equals how many in pounds? The answer is 54. You got it right? Next. 62 pounds equals how many in ounces? If your answer is 992, you are brilliant. Next column. 1,136 ounces equals how many in pounds? The answer is 71. If you got the correct answer, it means you learned. Next, 85 pounds equals how many in ounces? If your answer is 1,360, 
you are amazing. Review time. And always remember, when you convert measurements to convert larger unit to smaller unit, multiply. To convert smaller unit to larger unit, divide. And these are the customary units of weight that you need to familiarize. One pound equals 16 ounces. One ton equals 2,000 pounds. All customary units of weight that can be found on the left side on the first column considered as larger unit compared to its pair on the right side on the second column because these are considered as smaller unit. Do I make myself clear? Good. And for your individual task, I will be encouraging you to practice what you have learned and try to comment your answers in the comment section. And I'll do my best to check all your answers. And also, if you have questions, clarifications about our lesson, feel free to write that one in the comment section below. All right? And that concludes our lesson for today. Thank you for watching and always remember, never stop learning. For when we stop learning, we stop growing. Once again, this is your teacher JC, signing off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.